Hello guys, so back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the next topic that is. So in the last lecture, we discussed about best of it, worst of it, and those concepts, right? So in this lecture, let us take an example and let us understand the problems which we are going to face, guys. Okay. So first, let us discuss a example, guys. So let let me take a piece of paper and let us solve it, guys, so that we will understand it more clear, clearly, right? so i request everyone to take a piece of paper okay so they are saying the slots are of a size so they are saying this is a fixed partitioning approach 200 400 600 500 300 250 so they are saying these are the slots and the data which we want to allocate is okay uh, 357 210 468 491 so these are the four programs assume in that way we want to fit it inside these locations so inside that much size okay so now this slot is a 200 this slot is a 400 this slot is a 600 this slot is a 500 this slot is a 300 this slot is a 250 so assume that i am following best fit approach guys so what we do in best fit approach guys so you are sorry so let us first start with first fit guys because that is the traditional way right yes. so what we do in first fit guys so in first fit you will place your particular slot particular item in whichever possible slot so basically if your item is a is a sufficient here you will fit it that's it no more thinking that's it okay can 357 fit here guys no hence there's no chance here so can 357 fit here yes so i will place a 357 here okay now coming to 210 so 10 can 210 fit here no hence the next possibility is 600 so in that it will fit so i'll fit here when it comes to 6 sorry 468 so it cannot fit here it can fit here so 468 done so now when it comes to 491 so can 491 fit anywhere no hence this is not going to be fit okay and one more most important thing that you should understand here is so here i fitted 357 in 400 slot so basically there is some extra space which is left out right yes so if you want you can calculate it guys so there is some extra space right which is a 400 minus 357 similarly here there is a 600 minus 210 here there is a some extra space which is a 468 minus sorry 500 minus 468 so these are the empty spaces which are indirectly wasted right yes because we fitted 210 in 600 slot so that is a bad thing right yes so this is the concept of a first fit approach okay so now moving on to the sorry this is first fit right so this is first fit approach so now moving on to the best fit approach so here you are going to give the slot into the best slot okay okay so the first slot is a 200 uh, followed by 400 followed by 600 followed by 500 followed by 300 followed by 250 right yes so here what we do in best fit guys so you are going to place it in the best possible slot so 357 the best possible slot is 400 right so you will place here similarly when it comes to 210 so you can place here right so you will place here okay so i think in the last lecture i placed in this slot but that's a silly mistake guys okay yes so now 468 so 468 we will place here and when it comes to 491 we will place here so this is the concept with respect to best fit and to be clear in first fit we were unable to fit 491 right yes so when it comes to best fit we fitted every one and even though we fitted every one again there is some slots of a wastage right so here also we wasted some slot here also we wasted some slot here also we wasted some slot right yes so now coming on to the worst fit okay so what is the concept with respect to worst fit guys so here also what we do is we are going to have the same slot concept okay so what we do here is instead of fitting in the best possible slot we are going to fit in the worst possible slot guys so 357 what is the worst slot among these all guys 600 so i will blindly place that 357 there because i am going to waste almost 250 something change right so 243 or something right yes so that much space will be wasted here similarly when it comes to 210 i will place here when it comes to 468 now i cannot place a 468 nor i cannot place a 491 in this particular case got it yes so this is the worst fit guys okay so now let us understand 
two problems which we have faced here so basically if you recall i drawn some kind of wastage slots right so i am saying this particular slots are indirectly wasted right yes so assume that now okay so now three more processes came so let which example shall we take guys so let us take this example so assume that two more processes came they took this 200 slot and they took this 300 slot okay so now how much data is in total guys so just to give me a second i am just searching for the calci yeah i found it okay okay so let us calculate so 200 is occupied okay plus 357 plus 491 plus 468 plus 300 plus 210 so this much data we are having okay but what is our total storage so it is a 200 plus 400 plus 600 plus 500 plus 300 plus 250 so our total possible data is a 2250 okay so basically here we are indirectly wasting some space right so that space to be clear it is a sorry to be clear it is a 224 kb of a space we are wasting okay so basically this slots which i have highlighted so these are called as internal fragmentation guys this concept so whenever you are placing a particular data in a particular slot and you are wasting some space without without using it so this slot is nothing but internal fragmentation guys got it yes so now come going through the second problem so assume that now new process came which is of a size 224 can it get its slots guys no right so why are, why it is not getting the slot because of internal fragmentation because we caused it right yes so let us take another case so assume that this 468 guy left okay so now this whole slot is empty right indirectly so 500 slot is empty okay similarly assume in this way so assume that this 357 guy also left so this 400 slot is left so in total we are having 900 slots or 900 kb of a space right but assume that a program comes for a request of 700 kb of data because of these non-contiguous blocks so basically these are not continuous right hence you cannot store your program by breaking into two parts because we are learning contiguous memory allocation so due to this reason we cannot fit our particular request inside this right so this is external fragmentation so internal fragmentation means if you are having a Fix, a fixed slice slot and you are fitting a, a file or something which is wasting some particular space it is called as internal fragmentation when it comes to external fragmentation when few files have left and there is enough space in your memory but you are not able to fit the required thing so that is external fragmentation guys so now you are getting the exact idea now right yes okay yes so now you got the idea right so you can read the definitions from the book guys so external fragmentation is a function of a continuous allocation policy so the space required by the process is available in the memory but it is not contiguous and which means it cannot be allocated and which is wasted so this is a nothing but external fragmentation so basically external fragmentation is found in both the variable and fixed size partitions because both of them you are going whenever someone leaves so we cannot say that those two guys will be contiguous right so that is the main reason why it, you will end up with internal fragmentation sorry external fragmentation in both the cases but when it comes to internal fragmentation so why do we get internal fragmentation guys because your slot is more than the requirement but when it comes to variable size partitioning so in that you are going to give the exact size right so at that time is there any chance for external sorry uh, internal fragmentation no so that is the reason why internal fragmentation is only seen in fixed size partitioning got it yes so the same definition i have written here you can just go through it so it's a function of fixed partitioning which means uh, when a partition is allocated to a process uh, which is either same size or large size the request then the unused space by the process is nothing but the internal fragmentation part got it yes so now this is the exact example which we have discussed and these are the exact diagrams we have resolved right we have drawn right yes so now moving on to the advantages and disadvantages of the previous policies. So the advantage of a first fit policy is it is a simple, easy to use, easy to understand. The disadvantage is it performs a poor both in terms of time and space because here the, every particular thing could be could get the chance, right? But 
I think one particular item did not get a chance in this first feed, right? So here, 491 did not get a slot. So that is a something which we want to take care, right? Yes. So that is the disadvantage with respect to first fit. Okay. So moving on to best fit. Best fit performs the best in a fixed size partitioning. So what is a fixed size partitioning, guys? So we are going to have the fixed size slots, right? Yes, because of that, this fixed size of slots, the best fit always takes the slot and keep in its most best part. So that is the reason why in fixed slot, it is going to work really well. But when it comes to the disadvantage, it is difficult to implement because you need to calculate, right? So if there is a 357 and there are 1000 slots here, among them, which is the best to, you, to find, you should calculate the subtractions and all those things, right? Yes. So that is the reason why it's a disadvantage and similarly performs worst in a variable size partitioning as the remaining space which are very small. So assume that, let us take a hypothetical case guys. So assume that the requests are in this way. So 1 KB, 2 KB, 3 KB, 7 KB, 20 KB. So in this way you will give 1 KB here, 2 KB here, 3 KB here, 7 KB here, 20 KB here. So assume that this 1 KB left and this is 7 KB left. So these two slots are now empty. Okay. So the rest of all slots are filled. Filled. So now assume that a particular process comes and if it needs 8 KB of data, so it cannot fit. So these kind of issues will come when it comes to best fit policy guys. Best fit policy with respect to variable size partitioning. Got it? Yes. So now moving on, in the same way you can take example for worst case or worst fit also. So in worst fit, the advantage is performs the best in variable size because in variable size I'm going to keep in its own slots right so if it is 1 kb it will get its own slot if it 2 kb it gets its own slot so in that way but when it comes to uh, fixed size partitioning okay so when it comes to fixed size partitioning indirectly I'm going to waste a lot of space here right yes so that is the disadvantage here so now you understood right so why they are comparing it with respect to variable size or fixed size because they are completed two different things okay Yes. So I think now everyone got a clear idea about internal fragmentation and external fragmentation. So this is the exact example. And now most of the students will be like, okay, so we understood what is contiguous memory allocation, what are the policies and what are the types. So we also understood the problems which we are going to face. So now your question will be, okay, so is there any solution for these problems? Okay, so there is a particular solution which we call it as a paging guys. So it is a non-contiguous -memor non memory allocation policy and using a paging, we can completely eliminate external fragmentation guys. I'm being 100% clear here. So using a paging, you are going to eliminate 100% external fragmentation completely from this particular concept. Okay. Yes. So to remove or avoid external fragmentation, we go for paging. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got a clear idea about this non-contiguous memory allocation, right? Yes. So now we are done with non-memory memory uh, non-contiguous memory allocation so in the next lecture we'll be going through the concept of a paging and we will that concept belongs to non-contiguous memory allocation and the main reason why we study paging is just to remove that external fragmentation guys that's the whole concept okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea till now with respect to contiguous and all the previous topics so in the next lecture let us continue with the paging thank you thanks for watching like, share and subscribe for more awesome videos like this. Thank you.